Hello all, welcome to RD Lives with me Rohan and in the ad series that we are doing. Today we will see how to implement the interstitial ads in your Swift project. Let's get started. So for this tutorial, we will start from where we left off in the previous tutorial in which we had implemented the banner ads in our Swift project. And for you guys to refer to, I will add the link in the description box below. So please, please, please go ahead and build your understanding. So the purpose of this tutorial is to implement the full screen ads or the interstitial ads as Google Ad Mobs calls it. And how does this ad look like? This is a full screen ad which will occupy the entire space on your iOS devices form factor or your iOS host app. Okay, so uh, it will occupy the entire screen. So where do you show these kinds of ads? Uh, you can show these ads in between stages or in between levels if you're developing an iOS game or if you're just having a normal app, you can just uh, without any stages or levels, you can implement it on a time based function like say if the app is running for a couple of minutes, then you can just show these ads in a couple of minutes. OK, so these are the ways in which you can implement. And yes, you don't have to bombard the users every time by showing up these ads. So you can you just have to implement your best judgment on when to show these ads. OK, so let's quickly get started with this implementation. And the first thing that you got to do is you have to confer to the GAD full screen content delegate. OK, so we will write that. GAT full screen content delegate, which will have its own stuff functions that we will be adding in the course of this tutorial. Next, we will have to declare a variable of type GAD interstitial ad, just like what we have done for the GAD banner view. Similarly, just declare one more variable. Let's say O interstitial. Oops interstitial of type GAD interstitial ad. Okay. GAD inter interstitial ad. Okay. And we have declared a variable of type GAD interstitial ad. Next, uh, as I had told you earlier, like you can just show these ads on a time interval. Okay. Let's say after a couple of minutes or like five minutes of app usage, uh, you can decide. OK, so for the sake of this tutorial, what I will do is I will write a timer okay, to execute every 30 seconds. And within that timer block, I will be calling the interstitial ad to show up on the iOS app. OK, so let's go down and we will uh, just call a scheduled timer function. So let's let's say uh, is equal to timer dot scheduled timer yes this is the one and which will have the selector as well okay so now the the time interval over here is 30 seconds so i will just mention as 30 or you can just have your own number over here just for the sake of this tutorial i have kept it as 30 seconds and the target is self self and the selector i will have to declare an objective c function for holding the timer block okay so yes the error will come so we will ignore that error for now let's say selector and we will have to uh, let's say it's a timer block okay we will just name it as timer block whoops and the user info is null and uh, repeats yes i need this timer to run every 30 seconds okay so let's give that a true and we are done okay so this is what you got to do within the uh, view did load method over here yes this error will be there uh, which will say that the timer block uh, function is not available so let's write that function so let's say at the rate opj c yes because it's an objective c function and the name of the function is the timer block perfect okay so uh, once you are within this function let's say um, within the timer sorry so that you are aware that the timer has fired okay and you can see this within the console okay now 
The lines of code that we are going to write is the core block of showing the interstitial add. Okay, so let's write GAD interstitial add dot load and the load is overloaded. Okay, so we have the one that is without the uh, add unit and you had one with the add unit. So we need to have or rather call the method which is having with add units. Okay, the one that is there above it, it is just an initializer. Okay, so we will just have to call this method which will have the add unit id okay now uh, for the sake of this tutorial we will use the one that google has it okay and how do you create an add unit with interstitial ads so we have reached to this point okay there are two options okay so the first option is to uh, use the google add unit id which is only for test purposes Okay, and the other one you can create, you can create your own. So how do you do that? Okay, so you need to go to the add mob page, which is right here and create an add unit. So if you remember, we had created the add units for the banner ad. Similarly, I have created one for the interstitial ad. So how do you, how do you actually create one? So you just have to go into the project that you are in and for that matter we have two apps over here so we are within the test add mob 2 so you selected that and it gives you the the options for that particular app so you select that and click add unit and over here we just have to specify the interstitial ad because that is what we're doing for this tutorial okay so let's select it and over here you will have to provide your um, add unit name and uh, it will just basically create one for you okay so this is what you do uh, for creating an add unit and what we do is if you are using the add unit that you are having in your profile you can basically uh, use the same add unit okay but i would rather have uh, the google's add unit used okay uh, the reason is like you know it will keep on changing so i have that ready with me and this i will be adding in the uh, in the description box for you guys to work with that so if you are using an app don't use this for the production this is just for uh, the test purposes that google has given for us to use okay so you can use this add unit and you can paste it right here okay and if you are using it for the production environment please do create an add unit and use the same add unit which is assigned to your app in the add mob page okay so let's paste this now the next part over here is to uh, create a gad request for which we have not declared a variable as such so let's go ahead and declare that variable of type gad request so so let's write let uh, request is equal to gad request okay and let's close the brackets and we are done so let's call the same variable and pass it to the request parameter and now the last parameter that is the completion handler is a business end of it okay so let's go ahead and build the completion handler for the gad interstitial ads okay and this will return add an error in okay so we will have to uh, pick out the add and error within the completion handler of this particular block so let's write if let error is equal to error okay so if there is an error that means we will have to show it somewhere right so let's try to show it within a console okay so let's say fail to load the ad okay and uh, yes with strict interpolation we can see what the error is isn't it so let's pass the error variable over there and just say return okay so we have completed the first block so the, your error is handled over here and next what we are going to do is we just have to say self dot interstitial this variable that we had declared for the interstitial ad okay and you need to show the ad right so what we have done is in the completion handler it will return uh, or rather pick out the ad and the error okay and once the uh, ad is returned you need to show it somewhere isn't it so we will have to do that over here and what we do is self dot o interstitial is equal to add okay so you have passed the 
uh, the add that was there into our interstitial add variable. The next line of code is actually you are trying to handle the errors within the interstitial add. Okay, so uh, if you remember, we have confirmed the GAD full screen content delegate. Okay, so once the add is loaded over here, it needs to be passed to the interstitial variable. Okay, so after passing to the interstitial variable, you will have to handle the errors or the events that are uh, associated with this interstitial add. Okay, so let's confirm the delegate for that. So let's say o interstitial dot full screen delegate is equal to self. Okay, and that's it. All right, so once the delegate is set to it, you need to first check whether the interstitial add has got something in it or not. Okay, so for that purpose, we will be first checking if the interstitial add is not equal to nil. Okay, so let's write if uh, o interstitial is not equal to nil. Okay, so that means there is something in it. There's an add in it. Okay, so let's write that block. So let's write uh, o interstitial dot present from root view controller and just specify self over there. Okay, and if there is nothing, then hey, uh, there's an issue with it, right? So we'll just print. Uh, the statement in the console saying that the ad wasn't ready let's write print uh, add didn't load or the ad wasn't ready yes so what i wanted to explain to you over here is like uh, it takes its time uh, to load the ad so even if the 30 second window is completed it doesn't mean that the ad will be loaded at that very second when the time has elapsed okay so it will take its own time to load and uh, if the timer has elapsed it will move on to the next set of timer which is again 30 seconds in interval so the ad will be loaded at that particular moment in time okay so this particular block is over right now uh, this is the timer block that we were talking about and once this is ready, uh, we will have to handle the events and the errors that are being loaded, right? So for this, if you remember, we have written a couple of stub functions for the banner view uh, ad. So similarly, what we have to do is we'll have to write this for the uh, full screen ads as well. Okay, so let's write three main uh, stub functions for uh, the full screen ads. The first one that I want uh, to take you to is the uh, if the full screen ad did not load at all if the ad has failed to load so we will have to kind of uh, handle that particular event as well so let's write uh, function add and over here it says did fail to present full screen content with error okay and you will have to write it in a print statement saying uh, error and how do you know the error we can use string interpolation again and let's say error dot localized description okay so you have completed the first step now the second one that we are going to show or rather write is if the ad has presented itself in full screen okay so let's write function um, add did present full screen content yes and this is a success message so let's write uh, success okay and the third one is function add did dismiss full screen content okay so when do you use actually this particular or rather make use of this particular event it is when when the ad is loaded and the and the user clicks on the cross button over the ad so you can take the user to a different level or to a different uh, stage on an ios app or on an ios game so you can make use of this particular event handler so let's write print uh, user dismissed the ad so these are the three stuff functions that we are going to see in our tutorial so let's give it a build and see 
okay so we will run this on an ios device the physical ios device so i have connected my iphone so let me start the recording from there and then we will take it forward all right so my iphone is connected so let's run the app on my iphone and we can see how it is the build is ready and it is pushed to my iOS device. There you go. So the first thing to load right now is the banner view ad. Okay, so this is still in the test mode. This is what we had seen in the previous tutorial. Let's wait for the uh, full screen ad interstitial ads to load up. It will take its time. There you go. So you see the it, it says within the timer, but it says the ad didn't load or wasn't ready. This has uh, this is the same block that we have written when the uh, when the timer is called and the uh, ad isn't ready. Okay, so if it says that hey the O interstitial variable is nil, that means the ad hasn't been loaded onto the interstitial. Uh, wow you see this now the ad is loaded onto my uh, iphone okay so uh, if you close it the timer will still run okay so the timer is executing the timer is running on the 30 second window so if i just dismiss this the timer will run again okay after 30 seconds again a new ad will be loaded for our app Okay, so this is how you can actually, uh, you know, keep the users engaged uh, and you can load these ads on a periodic basis, let's say a couple of minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes of the app usage. And this is how, you know, you can load the app in a uh, time interval. So it's that simple to implement the interstitial ads in your Swift project. If you have any doubts, please reach me out in the comment section. I'll be happy to help as always. And please, please, please like and subscribe to the channel and see you until next time. Cheers.